oh man, what's going on? Not much battery today, folks, unfortunately. What's that going on here? Boom. Sunday, church. Bringing a bad boy back out because, well, I wanted to. I haven't replaced the windshield seals yet. Just got done at the shop a little bit ago and um, got the wheel seal taken care of that was leaking on it. Um, you know, topped her off. Bounced them for one of the tires that had a slight leak in it and um, ran home and got Little Miss Muffet because I wanted her to come because I guess I just wanted to hang out with her and see her, um, take her for a ride. She'd never been down to Marion before, so I got a Marion on a Sunday, kind of odd, but we're gonna go to Marion. See her in there? Can you see her in there? She's in there. Lights. Camera action, we're ready to go, man. We'll get in there, you can say hi to her and then I'll cut you out because uh, the radio's on, I think, so. See. Say hi. hi. All right, that's what's up. Rocking and rolling, folks. On a Sunday, doing a church service. On the show, on the Chat TV YouTube channel. Just sitting out here in Frank and um just got done swapping out the old um speedometers and stuff. Uh called the office and told them I was making a switch. The mileage is gonna be different, so so to let them know. And it's really easy. You just take the panel off. There's one, two, three, four, five, possibility of six screws that you take out, and you just undo the back of the one speedometer and you unhook the the wire harness section right there and then you just slide the other one in and you just tighten up the little bolts on the back this one had these screws but that other one had the the bolts so i um well with the nuts you know the small nuts with the bolts sticking out of it just hooked it up um i did turn the key over because the speedometer was up a little bit the the gauge i don't know the little little thingy was up a little bit and I turned the key over and it bounced down so I know it's working I'm not gonna be able to drive it down the road until I actually start the truck it's like 30 some degrees I'm gonna plug it in you know because it needs plugged in before I just crank it over yesterday I started it, it was a pretty much cold start really didn't want to go so I'll plug it in let it warm up do its thing and then um I'll check it out later won't have the old lady with me, so I'll be able to turn my heater back towards me. But, um, yeah, that'll be nice. Hopefully that works. I don't have any problems. If that's the case, then I can return and take this. Well, I'm not going to return it. Hold on a I second. I can take this thing off because I don't need it anymore. So, Because I've got this in here. C65635. If you notice, they are a little bit different because the mileage where the, where the uh, miles is at and stuff. And that one... You know, it's down there lower. So it was an older one, but the plug was the same. Um, the wires weren't exactly the same color on it, but um, it should be fine. I guess we'll find out. You know, so I'm just going to clean up my shit real quick here and put all the way, plug the truck in real fast. And I, this guy was shorting out on me yesterday, but when I hit the switch, okay, now it's kind of dim, but it's it's kind of bright, you know. And uh, not quite as bright as these ones over here, which I don't know if it's, yeah, it's like not wanting to be very bright. So I'm going to undo that one real quick, that dash, pull that out. Maybe it's just the ground. I don't know, not having the connection, but I'm going to check that out real fast. 
because I don't, I want to be able to see that temperature and stuff, you know, at nighttime when it's dark. I mean, you know, since it gets dark at like, like five. I like to be able to check up on my gauges when I need to make sure everything's kosher, you know, since we've had issues with that stuff in the radiators, but I mean, everything's cool. It, it seems like there's an air pocket in this one for some odd reason, or maybe it was just cold. It was bouncing back and forth between 200, 190, 200, 190, just bouncing back and forth. So I don't know, probably pull that cap off and stick my finger down there and check the level, but I, I don't really think there's any problems with it. Major ones that I need to know about or anything like that. Um, update on the seal, it's holding, it's good, not slinging. So that's always a positive when that's happening. And you're probably wondering, Why'd you jump in this truck already and park the blue truck? Well, because I think the fuel filter needs changed out in the blue truck. And when it gets too windy, the thing just slugs down. And um, not something I want to deal with. I just run this thing because it's set up for the winter in this cold weather versus that one's more of a summertime deal. You know what I mean? I'd, I'd rather, I mean, don't get me wrong. If I stop and that thing just idles and the heater's on, it'll sweat you out when I'm out, you know, swapping trailers and shit like that. But I don't like running it when the weather's nasty and stuff like that. And if they're going to start slinging salt because it's getting colder and it's going to snow and rain and do shit like that this week, that truck is not going to hit the road. I will not drive that truck in salt. I'm trying to provide, pro, pro, I'm just trying to save it so it doesn't, you know, it's a survivor and um, I don't want to trash it because of the salt. So it can sit there, you know, up Frank, he's, you know, this truck came from the East Coast, and there was already some salt damage on it here and there. So, I mean, I'll clean it when I can, but it's my workhorse, so it's going to get ran. And I guess, you know, someday if I got to fix some shit, I got to fix some shit. It's just what it is. So, it's what it is. So, we're back here, um, getting ready to take off in the truck. As you could see from the ghetto cell phone video, I did swap those out um the speedometer so we can get an uh, a hub reading hopefully um this says 651635.3 so we're gonna see right now if it works uh i already put all the information in on my um tablet so hopefully it does and or i called thomas in the office and told him to let him know what was going on so hopefully this shit works because i need an accurate you know i need some accuracy here so let's get it on and uh, truck's been running for maybe about uh, probably maybe 15 minutes. So, all right, looks like the speedometer's working. I wonder how off it'll be. That'll be something too to check to see how off that is. But um, it's working. So, give the old lady a toot. Let her know we're leaving because we always do. Because that's the kind of guy we are. And now, uh, whoops, from here. Sorry, folks. Oh, get out there, right? This might be like the blue chuck. The blue chuck just flicks every time that it's supposed to go. It'll just flick and not sit there and actually roll over, which I don't know if this one's working or not because it just don't seem like it might be. Like we're going back to the drawing board with that, folks. Look at that thing, it's at 55 miles. 
mean, it only take me five minutes to swap it out, so it's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm really not in that big of a hurry. It really doesn't matter to me. And I wish I'd have been able to run this down the road earlier, but I couldn't because uh, I was letting it, I had it plugged in and stuff, and it was too cold when I first started to uh, even try it, so. Fucking joke. Son of a bitch. Faking, 
I'm not on here posing to be somebody I'm not. Not on here posing to be something I'm not. Get out of there. Come on. Oh. This plug does not want to come out. Maybe it'll help. My friend the screwdriver. Off it. Jesus. Okay. So like I showed you earlier, the differences between this one, it's dark, and this one, where the miles are set at, it's dark. You probably can't even see it, so I guess that was a waste of time and pointless for me to try to show you. But at least I did, because that's the kind of guy I am. And uh, that one has a wire harness. This one just takes the plug, so I don't even know in here where this goes on there. If I was to switch some of those out, you know what I mean, to try to make something work. But, yeah, basically this is all you do, and I'll get you up on here. I'll put you over on this or some shit like that. Yeah, that hole in the dash right there. You just take this, there's a little nudge right there. See that little nudge? It just goes right there. See that? You shove it in. Just like that. That's all you do right there. Boom, now he's in. So, let's put you right here on... Um, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where to hook you up here. I guess I can't. I guess you're going back here. But anyways, that's what you do. Now I just got to hook that plug up. It's up on a dash. Okay, now it's back down to zero. That's not the right one. I guess it really doesn't matter. The wife ain't got a hold of me yet. Turn that screw in as far as I can with my fingers. This one takes the screws, that other one takes the nuts, which I'll show you in a second when I get out of your way. You know what I mean? Kindly in your way. right now that thing's done 8,000 8,000 some miles 8,455 miles since I put that thing on here and I've started having issues with this glass so we've had done dealt with this ship for 8,000 miles folks it's a lot of days and local miles if you know what I mean kind of annoying I did pull those seals out and um I washed them up today, took them up in a shower in a bathtub and washed them out. Which I may go grab them and bring them out here. I mean, I'm sure they're fine, but I don't want them like, they're sitting on the floor right now and I don't want them necessarily, um, you know, bending up too much and warping or anything like that, which it should be okay, but I don't know. I don't know. It would be crazy if this thing actually worked today. I did that but yesterday when I ran over to the shop to get the uh, wheel seal taken care of it worked fine the whole time and then when I got home and sat here for a minute to go get Kim it stopped working so that's the kind of shit that it likes to do to me it likes to fuck with me and piss me off spam risk Yeah, this one had this other bracket like this. This 
like kind of the blue truck had, which I took this cap and everything off, clean the glass. See this right here, I'm wondering if this is supposed to go for like the, um, you know, the odometer or something. I don't know. I don't know, but when I tell her that it didn't work, she's going to be like, well, you wasted money. I'm like, yeah, it did, mate. Yeah, it did. In other news, at a high rate of speed as I blow that stop sign by my house, which I always do because nobody comes down this road, that's a dead end road, and it is what it is. I just do whatever the fuck I want to. You know how it goes, folks. That odometer is working right now. How long it'll work, I don't know, but I mean, it's, it's working, so it's got a mind of its own, folks. And I've got like, I put those screwdrivers back because I have certain ones for certain stuff and I've got some stuff in there if I need to take this dash part or anything. I've got most tools I need on me for most of the stuff I need to do while I'm on the road for quickness. If you know what I mean. And that is what I call it. That's accurate for speed in that oddly enough. Oddly enough. Just keep 
keep running with them, bud. Nobody, don't worry about me or anybody else. I mean, these are DOT legal lights. If they weren't, I wouldn't be running them. Well, yeah, I wouldn't be running them. I'm, I'm not that much of a jerk, but... Starting to get some accumulation. Uh. On our way home, I'm done for the night, though. I am packing it in. Um, we're going to park her until tomorrow. And then tomorrow, we'll be back at her. Three loads tomorrow, and then I'm not until Saturday. I'm, I told Kim today we were talking, bumping our gums back and forth, and I told her, I said, you know what? I'm about to the point of pissing me off, and uh, I'm going to start working two days a week again, and then uh, just, you know, figuring out some other things to do with my time, because I don't, I don't know, man. I'm just irritated with things, and I get that way, you know. I might need to take some time and just, I know I was just on vacation. You're probably thinking, Jesus, we're just on vacation for two weeks. Yeah, well, when I come back and I start messing with trucks, and uh, something goes wrong, and it just doesn't seem to work out no matter what I do. I can't fix something or I have to continuously fix a problem that's pissing me off and continuing to piss me off and will continue to piss me off until I can actually get the shit fixed. I just don't want to deal with it. It's, it's cold out now. It's not like it's 70 degrees out and I can just go out and do the stuff. You know what I mean? Now I'm dealing with the elements. And uh, when my hands freeze up and I'm outside in the cold for over three hours and my hands are frozen by the time I come in or my feet are burning up because, you know, they were cold and this and that, then I, I just don't want to deal with it, man. I'd rather be able, especially to get in a truck after being outside for three or four hours in the cold and then having to get in a truck and work is just exhausting. And I don't want to drink Mountain Dew and, you know, other things like that to be able to, um, you know, keep going throughout the night and stuff. I just would rather not because when I get home, I want to be able to have a nice drink and uh, pass out. But, you know, it's what it is. So, yeah, I'm really not going 65. That thing's off. So, if anybody's going to bump their guns to me about that shit, just don't even worry about it because it's what it is. But, yeah, man, we're just trucking. Nobody's in front. Boom! Look at that shit, man. Oh, my God. Look at that shit. Woo! What? You can't say that on freaking recording. Oh. Waza! Oh man, look at that shit. Oh man, we just got something in the mail. We're sitting on this the porch. Side up. I did flip it, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, <don't flip> it. <laughs> we need a knife. Can you get me a knife, lovely assistant? Yo, oh, just booty bonker. Lovely assistant there getting a knife. We got a pair of small. This might not, this box may be not just the same box of something that's in there. I had got a message from somebody on the old YouTubulator channel, the Trucking Edition Spectacular, if you will. And he said, I sent you stuff in the mail. You should be getting it soon. And guess what? We got it. We got, and we're going to see what we got here because you never know what my fans are going to send me because they might send me some crazy stuff because my fans are probably crazy like me. So let's see what we got. Note that says, Chad, I've been watching your YouTube channel for some time now. I have really enjoyed your videos. I wish the best of you and your wife. Enclosed are four items to help you with your trucking activities. Sincerely. James Townsend. Thank you very Aww. much, James. That was a nice letter. Aww. Oh my God, would you look at that? He got me a Kenworth oh, hat. Oh, that's sick. A Kenworth hat. Oh, and man. we've got a 50 pack of shop towels for our dirty mitts because you never oh, know when we're going to put our dirty mitts on. Nice little flashlight, 180 looms. This should be nice and bright. Perfect. We're going to blind some people. And we've got a mystery bag in here. Oh. We don't know what's in the mystery bag. Advanced auto. Oh, yeah. Gojo. Hand cleaner, baby. That's what nice. I'm talking about. Oh Not only gosh. is it Gojo, but it's the cherry scent. Because you know my mitts are dirty when I'm grinding mm -hmm. up under the truck and stuff like that. So that's, that's awesome. what I'm talking about. You don't have anything like that? That is what I'm talking about. The Kenworth hat. The cleaning oh, rags. That's so the flashlight. Oh, my gosh. The hand cleaner, that is amazing. And oh, I just want to say big shouts to you, James, for this you. stuff. I really appreciate this. This stuff is going to go out in the garage and definitely use it because I'm about out of the orange. And um, this would be nice. Honestly, I'll probably keep one in the house. Yep. 
one out in the garage. And one uh, in the shower. Maybe one in the shower. Wash my dirty feet if I get dirty with my Crocs on, you know what I mean? But the towels, that's awesome because I usually use the other kind of towels and I'm constantly running out of um, paper towels and stuff. So that's what I'm talking about in uh, the Kenworth hat. That's sweet. So stay tuned and uh, that'll be probably in a video here sometime soon. So thank you very much, James. I appreciate that. And uh, until next time, you know what we say, folks. We will see ya. Oh, man. Woo! What's going on, folks? It's a blistering 22 degrees out. I'm um, not sure about a wind chill or anything like that, but she's kind of windy. Let's get this bumped up, let's go. So we can get that rattle off the fan because for some odd reason it likes to rattle but it's nice we got that throttle lock we can just bump that up and uh do it to it um i come out fired the truck up i had it plugged in about uh two o'clock this morning i i plugged it in before i got in the house because i was out doing some things but really not looking forward to dealing with this kind of cold weather you know because it i don't like it it sucks my body hurts i'm old i'm getting older I'm not gonna say I'm old because some people say, oh, you're still young. Ah, oh, you're still young, buddy. But um, yeah, I'm getting ready to do it today on a Saturday. Um, you know, it's it looks nice out, but it's kind of, uh, it's not as bad. I got the winter coat on. I got the, the thick boots, the thick socks, all that good stuff. And I don't have any pins up here because they're all in my other coat, but I do have some back here, so. Yeah, that's what's going on today, man. We're just getting ready to do it on a Saturday. Probably go over and dump some gallons in. I don't need a ton because I've got some fuel, but I still want to have enough to where I don't want these trucks sitting um, with at least under a quarter of a tank of fuel when it's cold and stuff. But it is supposed to warm up here. It's, it's tomorrow. Let's see what we got going on for uh, Sunday at the church. We've got um, 23 right now. Feels like 10 daily a high of 37 or 31 today tomorrow 27 and the monday we're gonna bounce back up in the 40s and be almost 50 on wednesday so that'll be nice we'll be able to wash the blue truck up because it hasn't gotten cleaned up since i ran it and then uh clean up frank a little bit if i need to and do some other stuff right before thanksgiving the holiday and we're going to be thankful this year because we can so um we'll be going over a list of things we're thankful for and uh You'll want to see that, so stay tuned. Just left the house and uh, picking up a bunch of this scat radio from Smoky Mountains, Tennessee. I'm sure this guy will come across here in a minute. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn my squelch down so I don't. Uh, I don't have to yeah, we got that. Because he's freaking screaming. Just a screaming. Get in there, baby. Hey, I wish the wife was with me. She just tuned that thing down for me, so I have to hear it, but what it is, man. What it is. Looks like they got the road salted up pretty well up here. Um, I was out until like two o'clock this morning. I was over to Fort Wayne and stuff, went skating and hanging out with some friends afterwards because they're getting ready to do a Friendsgiving. Um, so I went over there, they were decorating and whatnot. I just hung out, had a beer, you know, my own thing. And I didn't really see any salt on the road last night, but looks like they must've come out this morning and laid some down because she's kind of white some spots you know it was it was snowing last night kind of like it has been around here just flurries which I may get into some uh, different stuff later on once we get over to North Baltimore and Finley area because yesterday I'd seen some pictures on Facebook looked like it was kind of rough but you know we didn't have nothing so I was shocked and it was, it was cold last night, the roads were wet, but fortunately nothing was sticking. So I didn't have to deal with anything, but I was in grandma's truck, so it really wouldn't have worried, mattered anyway, so. Just uh, what it is. Well, I guess this guy's done talking now, but I'm sure we'll come screaming back over in a little bit here. And I thought I had tuned this to where I didn't have to listen to that guy from uh, New Mexico or whatever. Odd that that guy's coming in today because I had tuned it up to where I didn't have to hear that guy because man, he's getting annoying real fast. 
it is, but like I said, yeah, the fuel quality shit too. Um, doesn't really matter what kind of additives you put in. I dumped some um, anti-gel in yesterday before I took off, and then I put like 30 gallon in it that just to get through the day and to keep it to where you know I didn't. I don't like to have at least. I at least like to have worst case scenario an eighth to tank of fuel when I'm going home. It, it's not like I can just fill it up before I go and then you know come through another time. Woo! Because um, you know I like to uh, uh, if I need to run it for a little bit or plug it in. But on Sunday everything drops over from Saturday night to Sunday so if I was to fill that thing up on Saturday night that would go on my check and that would be the fuel surcharge wouldn't match it so I just don't do it you know I'll wait until Sunday and it looks like I may be running down the back road here because I do believe this train is probably going to take a while it's only one engine and if the thing stops and backs up
me and Alice Vaughn, huh? Did you like that? A little cruising on there. I'll show you something. I've showed this before. One time, Porter Productions, the guy that has a YouTube channel, Porter Productions, commented because occasionally you'll have situations like this happen. Okay, I'm gonna spin you around. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about here. We've got this sitting up higher than what it needs to be because it's stuck on this pin, unfortunately. Pin probably wasn't pulled out enough and that's what happened. So what I'm gonna do is I've got this hammer, I'm gonna go bam, I'm gonna whack it, and then the thing's gonna drop. So just hang out right here, like this. Yeah. Boom, just like that. Boom! Just like that. So you remember how I just had to bang that because that thing wouldn't go? For some odd reason, once I got this uh, leveled out and everything and slid the tandems, I couldn't get this to go in. So I basically had to set that in the center so I could lift this up to be able to get that pin in because it just wouldn't go. So now if I want to, I can do the other side or I could probably wait until later to do it. I'm not sure what I'll do yet, so we'll see. Waiting on a truck real quick to come through. There's a truck, or I would have just whipped that out real fast, but always gotta be somebody. Come on, you're gonna come. Jesus. side up real quick I don't know if I'll be able to but I'm gonna try it real quick just because I'm that guy I like to try all right let's get out and look let's get out and look at it and see if you don't go three out of four ain't bad that's what I feel about these pins so if I can't get it I can't get it I'm just gonna send it because oh that's the kind of guy I am yeah, that was a little crooked anyways, like it was off. Oh, just went through, slid right in there. So that's basically what you gotta do. You see that right there? Fifth wheel's there. So let me whip you around real quick, or at least hook you onto something. Snag you on the frame real fast, sorry. You know what time it is. 